Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. Hello everyone, it's me Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So just recently, Mayor Eric Adams of New York City said that they have had to deal with an influx of over 3,000 illegal immigrants, mostly from Latin America from May until July as of now. And so he's blaming the influx of illegal immigrants on Republican states like Texas, Arizona, and Ohio saying that they are purposely shipping them to New York so that New York would have to deal with them. And so Mayor Adams is like, okay, well, we want the Biden administration to give us more money to house and take care of these illegal immigrants. And so he's saying that if we have to put them up in hotels, then we'll do that because we don't feel like they should be having to sleep on the street. He talked about a family that slept on the floor of an intake center over the weekend and how uh, inhumane that was and everything like that. Now, the Republican governors are saying, nah, that's not true. We're not doing that, which I believe they probably are doing some of that. And I'm like, well, if you're shipping these people somewhere, why not ship them to the White House? Ship them right to the White House steps and say, hey, Biden, y'all opening up the borders and all that. Why don't y'all deal with it, right? Stop putting the burden on the states. But anyway, so as I'm, you know, reading the story and stuff, I'm like, wow, well, that's awesome. But New York has a homeless this problem where one in every six New Yorker is homeless out of about 8.3 million residents there. And so it's like, okay, you got that much homelessness going on with people who live there in New York and they're sleeping on subway streets and public, you know, centers, maybe, I don't know, like a laundromat, but yet you want to house illegal immigrants over the people who are sleeping on streets. Like what's really going on here right now? I should also say that is a Democratic mayor who's complaining about the uh, Republican governors sending the people there. But it's like, okay, you, you want to house these people, but you're not any better because you're ignoring the people who belong in New York legally, you know, citizens of New York that are homeless. And so why not put them all up in hotels and stuff? Now I know during the pandemic, uh, they did have some sort of a shelter thing where they uh, show, uh, put people in hotels and stuff like that. But that program sounds like it ended in March. And so here he is talking about, we'll put them in hotels if we have to. And it's like, what about your own people? Why about put them in hotels? Because you have to, right? They belong here. And a lot of those people are homeless due to uh, being evicted and you know, not having a job and it's high as hell to live in New York amongst a whole host of other things. And so again, that's a democratic mayor looking out for everybody, but his own people once again. So y'all tell me what you think of the story. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, the Demetra K show here on YouTube. Peace. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.